Good evening. Honorable Minister for Human Resources Development, Mr. Kapil Sabal. Honorable Minister of State for Human Resources Development, Mrs. D. Pur Andeswari, Dr. R. K. Pakachuri, and Professor R. V. Rajsharan Pillay, and distinguished participants from around the world. It is a great pleasure for me to congratulate our colleagues in India for pulling together what promises to be an inspiring and educational program. Thank you, too, for making arrangements for so many knowledgeable speakers to join us in the next few days. This is the perfect moment to reflect upon the greatest achievement in our time in the international progress of libraries, the sharing of global We have all come to recognize the great benefits from our ability to make materials from collections accessible beyond our walls anytime, anywhere, with, for anyone with an internet-connected computer. Scholars are increasingly doing their research without expensive trips to libraries outside their regions. Teachers are drawing on fascinating digital resources for use with their classes, and students can now explore a world and its many cultures electronically, with the result that we may all become a little less parochial in our outlook of the global knowledge that is available. Libraries around the world were among the first to embrace the digitization of their resources and to collaborate with others to make resources more widely available. There are many examples on every continent of libraries working often in collaboration with other cultural institutions, putting their resources into the hands of their users through digitization. These individual efforts go far beyond their national borders. The ultimate result of the many libraries making their resources available is that collectively we are creating libraries for the world. It is not just by making the digitized texts and images available, however, that libraries are progressing today. Libraries are also building collections of born digital materials, materials that have no paper equivalents. And together, these are providing opportunities for collaboration among researchers, for deep intellectual inquiry by both scientists and humanists, as well as by individuals who simply have curiosity and for educational and interpretive programs and for school students and for the general public. The power of digital libraries can't be overestimated. By making our collections more widely available to young people through our digitization efforts and by building these collections of born digital materials, we are facilitating learning and opening many new avenues of reflection and inquiry. We have learned that primary source materials can make instruction come alive for young people. And by providing records of artistic, social, scientific, and political thought and achievement, students recognize that the materials that they are viewing were actually produced by people who lived in another time and in another place. Through digital libraries, students begin to think about their own place in the world and their connections to the past and their obligations to the future. Even though libraries have made great progress in digitizing materials from their collections, making them accessible online and developing educational programs that make use of them, there are still many opportunities to do more we realize, for example, that there are more opportunities to engage our many audiences by making digital materials available through technologies that our audiences use. 
libraries have embraced blogs and RS feeds and wikis and Twitter and anything else that comes along because we realize that more and more young people are accessing information through iPhones and Blackberries and any other device they can carry in their hands. In these ways, we have also made our reference resources available to all citizens who have questions, not just to those who walk through our doors. The last decade has brought enormous changes in the services offered by libraries. Our future progress will depend on continuing to monitor the needs of our users and developing services to meet them. An international gathering to consider the prospects for digital libraries is an important event, not only for the professionals who are devoted to creating electronic library collections, but also for broader society. We have the capability within our reach to improve educational and learning opportunities for all people. This is an important responsibility and I very much look forward to hearing your ideas and recommendations. I wish for all of you a rewarding experience as we embark on this important journey together. Thank you very much.